Hello, my name is Carla and I'm in the Bentley Technical Support Team. Have you ever wondered how to modify a sheet index table? In this video, we will start by placing a sheet index as a table and then modify the report definition associated with the sheet index before updating the table in the design file. Finally, we will look at how your site administrator can change the initial report definition by modifying the DGN lib file. Let's start by opening up the reports dialog. So from the drawing workflow, we'll choose analyze and reports. From here, we can see we've got a report definition available and it's coming from this DGN library file. So it's predefined for us. Now let's open the Explorer. So we'll go to the home tab and then choose Explorer. From here, we can look to a sheet index. And here we can see it's coming from the Metro Station, project delivered with MicroStation. And these are the various sheets associated, which will be placed with the sheet index. We'll now place this as a table into the design, making sure that we retain the association. So if we update the reports, it can update the table later on. Having placed the table in the design file, you'll notice that the report definition has been copied from the DGN lib file into this file. Thus, any modifications we make to the report are going to be done in this file. If we expand the sheet index report, we can see the column headings associated in our table. Let's modify the sequence number column so it's at the start of our table. This is done by selecting the heading and just moving it up using the arrow, thus changing the sequence order. In addition, we'll remove some of the column headings from the predefined report definition as defined by your site administrator in the DGN lib library file. First select the heading to be removed and then hit the delete key. Having made changes to the sheet index report, we now need to update the table. To do this, we select the table and then we refresh the table from the data source. If we had not selected the retain association when placing the initial table, we would have to delete the table and then place the sheet index again to see the changes. We will now look at how the predefined report definition can be edited. This will be done by your site administrator as it requires modifying this DGN lib file. Let's expand the sheet index report to see the predefined columns. Here we see sequence number is occupying column three. I'm now going to open the DGN lib and edit the file. Remember your site administrator may need to do this. We'll go to the report definition as we've done before. And we can see that there's our sequence number in slot three and I'll move it to the top. So it's now our first column. So now if we return back to our DGN file, we'll be able to see that change. Here we see the sequence number as the first column as defined in the modified DGN lib file. Thank you for watching and have a good day.